Hello once again to the Darkest Dungeon. I thought we'd spend a little bit of time at the start of this episode uh, actually trying to perform some upgrades to things and people. So do bear with me, but this is the this is part of the game, and as such, it's something I'm going to do. I don't really, not too concerned about upgrading. Um, stress relieving places. These seem to be doing all right for us. The main thing we want from these is to reduce the price of them at the moment because having extra slots is fine. This one's so expensive I never use it, so until somebody starts requiring this, I'm not going to upgrade it. Uh, having two slots, that's only useful when the caretaker is taking up one of them and again, somebody needs it uh, because of a quirk that they have that says that they can only, like, uh, I think someone up here has got such a thing. Anyway, um, so I'm not going to put too much effort into upgrading those. It's really the guild and the blacksmith that I'm most concerned about upgrading. So we need a lot more portraits. And I, I would very much like to get this leveled up. Um, I'm not too concerned about bringing these, the, the upper echelons of our squad on a mission anytime soon. It would be good to get some high level units but at this stage, what I'm really considering doing is upgrading some of the people who have done well, uh, but are slightly lower level. Snowland, for example. Definitely deserves those two. In fact, I was going to change Snowland's uh, skill set. I wanted Blackjack, Hounds Harry. I think Hounds Harry is probably better, although, uh, well... Actually, Blackjack can't be used from the position that we were using Snowlin in. So I'll upgrade that, that, that. I didn't really use this, although it would give us, you know, it's not that great. I'd kind of prefer just to camp or come home and spend the money. So I'm not going to, it's only 200, obviously, but... Fuck it. <laughs> I talked myself out of it and did it anyway. Good job, me. Uh, Viz has survived against all the odds. Ah, it's such an expensive character to upgrade. I think this, uh, what does this do? Like, transform 1, stress plus 8. Excuse me, what is the difference here? Oh, pardon me? Heal 6 HP. You don't get a fucking upgrade. Why did I even pay for that? Excuse me. I have to get onto Twitter about that. I'm, I'm, I'm going back between these, looking at it, but I might as well just check the video later and sort of do an overlay. I'll get it out in Photoshop or the GIMP or something and cut that and paste it there and see if there's any fucking difference because I'm not seeing one. Can't believe I spent 200 gold on that. God damn it, Viz. Um, and I'm also wondering whether I, I was thinking about something recently. Ah, look, you can't meditate, so you may end up going into a place that the caretaker's in. Lick wounds. Yeah, this doesn't seem like too great a hound master right now. Hounds rush, cry havoc, lick wounds, blackjack. Blackjack's fine. Um, like that one and that one are mutually exclusive, which is a problem. Which makes me wonder whether I shouldn't have taken this one at all. Eh. Can we replace that one? I I know I said I wouldn't scum it up, but I haven't sent him out to like stress him out and throw him away, but. Another occultist as well. You know what, Pete? I don't want this. This is going to be the new Pete. Turn yourself now to the oh, I got an achievement for that, according to who remain. according to uh, good old Steam. Now this is going to be Creator Peter. Because um, again, it's a healer unit, but probably a slightly. Uh, it's not just a healer unit; it's a plaguey type unit. In fact. Original Pete wasn't a healer at all, so what am I talking about? Who knows? Who cares? This is a different set from Bagel. It's got Hands from the Abyss instead of Abyssal Artillery, but I kind of like this one as well. Also, <laughs> you haven't got any decent position to be in. Maybe third position? I think third position is the one we put you in if we bring in you as a healer. Sacrificial Stab is actually very powerful in some situations. So there you go. we got a new one of those, um, which is... Bagels obviously in for uh, de-stressing, so we could we could take a very similar party to the one we just had, but I think 
Yeah, let's put Raikuda in. Pistol shot. Have you got point blank shot? Yes. That's the one that sends you backwards. Yes. Do you have the duelist advance? No. 800 bucks. Oh, a repost. I like that. That moves you forward one. Right, I'm going to take that and then upgrade this. This. And this. But not all of them. Let's uh, let's figure out a party and then see what we're going to do. So you you lot piss off. I think Fever Phonics may want to go in for Stress Heal. So you're going there. And you're going there. Yeah. That means you can step back and forwards. At the back we can have our new Hound Master, who I just dismissed. <laughs> Good job. At the back then... Miri hasn't been for a while. Yeah, Miri. Miri's going at the back, which means we might as well send Psycho or Mr. Steve out at the front. Psycho's been really good for us, but is unfortunately level 2. Miri's only level 1. So we should sort by um, level, to be fair. Yeah, so we'll send Mr. Steve. We don't want to level Psycho past his sort of group of level 2s here. Because we've already got a level two, uh, level three uh, crusader. This seems like a decent set of people, so we'll go back and we'll upgrade Miri. Hounds Rush is fine. Does this give us more? Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Higher accuracy as well, I think. Oh no, same accuracy. That's fine. Ah, uh, yes. But not those two. I'm going to save some money because we've already spent nearly 7,000. Uh, and we're bringing Mr. Steve. So Mr. Steve gets... Yes. Yes. Not really using this. But I could do. And I think it does everybody because it's a cry. Usually when you have something like that, it, it does everybody. I'll keep that around for now. We're not going to need that much extra protection. Where is the unit that had the stress heal? It was the one that um, that had a, a flare. I thought it was a Houndmaster. Maybe it's a Man at Arms. Where's our Man at Arms? It was Holmesy. I've only got one of these, which is a shame. No. So it was a Houndmaster. No. So it was a... Yo. <laughs> Dude, where's it at? I saw it. I'm going out of my mind. It's none of those. That's a pretty nice one though, Adrenaline. Uh... I'm so confused. Are you sure it wasn't one of these? I'm going to have to go back and look at the footage. Yeah, screw it. Let's embark. Spent enough time in there. Everyone's been upgraded. Oh, they haven't been upgraded because they can go to the blacksmith as well. Let's put people in here. You. You. Spending all my money. All my money. You don't get shit. Good. 9,000 left. That's actually more than we started the last mission with, so that's not bad. Um, do we want to do... We wanted pictures, didn't we? There's some. We were also wanting to get the ruins up. Can we sort of get both going on? No. Uh, uh, that's a lot of gold. Let's have a look at these. Grave Robber. That's pretty decent. I like the Grave Robber. Jester. Plus two crit. Grave Robber. Plus 30 stun. Those are pretty good. I think I'll go with a short one because the last episode's quite long. And everybody's probably already asleep by now. Oh, also, we need to um, sort these out. On our Crusader, we're going to get a protection thing. There's a protection thing somewhere. Not that one, the other one. This one. And... Maybe more protection? More dodge? Maybe that one? That seems good. I don't think anyone at the front has really tried to be moved at any point so far. You get this, as usual. The 2% crit is pretty nice, but mm, it's not the best. Maybe more dodge? I think that's good. 
you get the debuff thing. This is such a good trinket for this. I'm so pleased that we uh, discovered it. Uh, that no, that we had it, but the um, uh, where is it? Hello. That one. I'm so pleased we realised that it was an option, and then as a um, heal skill chance as well. Because the crit that we got, do you remember that? A 32 crit, and it didn't bleed in the last episode. And we've got a Houndmaster. Ooh, a Dark Scout. A Trap Disarm. I don't really care for the Trap Disarm. But 4 dodge and more speed is fine. And 5 prot and 1 speed back down is great. So there we go. We're back to zero and we've only got benefits to ourselves. Let us... Thank you. Let's just provision. We're going on a short mission. We're only going to take a stack of each thing now. I think we'll be okay uh, if it gets dark because we have a good healer. Famous last words. We're going to the ruins. There can be some medicinal herb usages, but mostly it's skeleton keys. So I'm going to take three of those uh, just in case we find uh, locked cabinets and things on the way. Uh, maybe a couple of bandages. Yeah, one, two bandages. That's fine. Holy water. Everything else, don't really care about. I'll take a second shovel because if. If I don't, I'll regret it. We've got 6,000 gold left, which is nice. So I'm trying to take less stuff. Um, just in general. I'm just going to turn the recording volume down a little bit, because I've noticed I'm clipping. So I apologise for that in previous episodes as well. And what, better place uh, what are we doing? 100% of room battles. There could be one here, which would be mine. awful if there were, and we didn't check. You. Read that. Excellent. What did you get? Eldritch Slayer. That's exactly what we need in this place as well. You're a Warren Scrant. Oh, what's this? Ah, uh, don't like that. I tend to ignore those, um, which is probably not to my benefit. Doomsay. Not a good time. Why do you have to start? That's the worst. At least it's not a hugely stressful attack. Yo. Oi. Right. You're fucking fast as well. Oh, you're not really. Um. Right. 20% versus beast. These are unholy. And these are... That's apparently human. Okay. These are all unholy. So, I don't care about that. We will. We've got protection. Yes. No, no. 20 dodge. You've got protection. Now you don't. Don't really need that uh, skill yet. Minus 15 dodge. So, hopefully this doesn't dodge it. Or resist it. Good. We've still got a dodge, which is the crazy thing there. And the Raikuda gets a go. So we can start doing this thing where we step forward and dance back. Uh, we didn't bring it. Oh. I'll have to... Remind me at the end. Uh, in that case, I guess we improve ourselves. What does this do to the target? Nothing. It just shoots it. That's fine. It's still 2 to 3 damage. And it buffs us. Which I am happy with. Good dodge. I like to start out with a good amount of dodges, so obviously I set myself up for that. I'd like to kill this because it is doing so much stress damage to us. It's just unreal. So are you, to be fair. Stop it. Yeah, it's that AoE stress. It's still quite a lot on each person. This chap's getting more than 10 each time. Pete. 25% damage versus marked. Literally gonna kill the shit out of it. Can't shoot that, which is annoying. Five to ten, five to ten. Yeah. Okay. Guarantee the kill on the thing that I was just saying that I would like to guarantee a kill on. You're plus seventy percent damage versus mark, so you're quite likely to kill it. Of course, you're all the lowest because I was expecting you to not. Do that. At least you dodged. So this thing being still alive is not necessarily the worst thing in the world. No one really needs healing, so we will just stab something, I suppose. What have you got? Minus 15 dodge. 13 dodge? Yeah, we'll use that on that. Please don't resist it. Good. Now you've got no dodge. I have no quarrel with you, sir. <laughs> Do I make that joke every time? I'm not sure. I mean, seriously, I'm not sure. Stress heal plus 6. Oh, it's one person. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 
Unity. Don't know if you could hear my uh, the cogs going around in my head, but I was looking at that going, uh, that now sucks. Thinking it was, you know, everybody. I was happy with it, but it wasn't. I was expecting that to do a lot more damage, actually. Especially, oh, it's unholy, not Eldritch. Never mind. You got Eldritch Slayer as well, which is nice. I think that's um. Yeah, it's already plus Eldritch, and that's even more Eldritch. So if you do find some Eldritch, I'd be very happy. Another You're dead. That's exactly what I went to see, and... Dude, oh, oh, voiceover guy. One of my best friends is an abomination. His name is Wayne July, I think. Uh, excuse me. Well, I guess we're doing this. Small heal and some stress damage. Trying to keep these down to three pips actually seems like it. Valuable use of our time. That's everything dead. Good. We actually got some uh, medicinal herbs anyway, so... Not too upset by that. Don't forget that food can be used to heal as well as to... Thank you for reminding me. I think that's the one I wanted. Yeah. Did I want to change yours? Was there anything else I wanted to change? I don't think I, don't think I bought anybody else something new now. Man, I don't want. I don't like going to a small thing and then coming back. How is this happening to me so much today? Protection. No. In that case, I will run this on you. Run. I will run this on this. You can tell what I do during the day. Not that. Eldritch. No. 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 Fifteen dodge. You know what? Start stabbing stuff. Someone's going to have to take a step. Um, I think. Like a literal move action. It's gonna be you. I think if these two do their move actions, can I I can. Confidence Excellent! As the enemy so Mr. Steve is gonna be stepping forwards clumsily slowly over time. But Raikuda is gonna be advancing and reposting all oh this is bad timing actually. What have we got here? Okay, so the Repost does less damage, but it's still a repost, and I do like a good repost. Stop this. It's unfortunate that Raikuda went first on that round, because I didn't want to keep swapping these two around. I want Mr. Steve to move, and then Raikuda to move behind. Is it worth healing? I think not, because some of these heals are going to go really well. So I think we'll just, um... I guess this one? It's the only one with dodge. We resisted the debuff anyway, so I guess whatever. Are you not guarding you? Told you. You're marked, so I'll shoot you. Not, not the strongest of creatures, but they are punching me quite a lot. I'm going to move you again, even though I don't have to. Because you can do something from there. Maybe I should have just hit something. A dizzying Ow. Blow to body and brain. The body and brain. Too right. Tell him, Wayne. That! I didn't nearly have the opposite effect. Just kill it. Kind of sort of drags it out until, um... Until... Was this Pete? Yeah. Until Pete had another go so he could heal himself, but... Don't care. Pete, you brought it on yourself. There better be a battle in here, because I went through all this. So fucking isn't. Alright. Well, we got some stuff. We did pick up some extra food which we could eat. It wasn't food, was it? It was an extra torch. Stack that torch. Stack that torch. New game show on ITV. ITV will play anything. You can read it. Ah! What's the matter with you? Dachnomania. Obsessed with killing? Yeah. So Pete might start opening up Iron Maidens and stuff, but... So glad you dodged that, because you're starting to piss me off back there. It's always the one at the back as well, have you noticed? Jackass. A little bit of HP, and we didn't get the stress from it. Oh, torch! Never mind. No one in here. Lucky us. Scouting. There is a trap, and we have seen it. And there's our first room combat. So try not to fuck up the trap. Miri, your trap is quite high, yes. 90. It's 
think it's about time Miri leveled up, actually. Is Miri not level 2 already? No. Hmm. Okie dokie. Are you going to steal that? You fucking dick. Not hard earned at all. Pete, such a twat. We're going to have to get rid of that. I think Kleptomaniac is probably one of the most irritating but not devastating um what does this do maybe because we're inside the ruins here that's causing extra stress damage which is why he took 11 when everyone else took not 11 we're not uh we're not scared we're not jumbled up so i think if we mark the one at the back here and try and reduce the dodge on it then we've got a good chance of one-shotting on the next turn. Now this is going to work well, because you can actually work, as we noticed in the previous battle, in, in the second position. So, I think what we're going to do is just start wailing away on this. That was a really good crit. Look at that! 1 HP! <laughs> Thank you for doing so much damage to that, actually. And I am not being facetious, that's actually really, really good. Because that could have dodged the riposte. Uh, weird reconstruction on yourself is a lot more important, I think, at this point, than trying to like, bring this one slightly closer to Death's Door. This is the one I was talking about before. Acolytes. It's acolytes and courtiers. And both of those are just bullshit, in my opinion. Uh, thank you for resisting the bleed. Excuse me, can we have a go? I want to go. We lost a bit of torch there because that one had to go. Spirits are lifted. I. And purpose is made clear. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to waste that much damage on it, but like we could just one shot that, right? I could use point blank shot to kill it actually. In fact, I'm going to have to use point blank shot to kill it because Raikuda can only shoot the one at the front. Oh uh, no! No 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 no! Well, that changes everything. Quite literally changes everything. Now Raikuda can go first, please. I guess we guard. Now nah, we'll move. I think it's much more valuable to move that than um, than to do otherwise. That's bad crit. More stress damage and a bleed. Wow, you're really taking a beating. Protection on that. That's got 13 dodge. Let's try and reduce that, because we haven't even hit that one yet, which didn't work, but I think it's worth a try. Now we're at the back again, which is not brilliant. And now you're taking even more damage, which is also not brilliant. Just move. And you move back. Oi, Gavolt, this isn't too good. Please, don't, don't be a bleed. It's three, which kind of makes up for the... That's a long-ass bleed. Look at that. One damage for four rounds. And now you're going to move. What's wrong with you people? I'm so glad I gave Raikuda that, um, that thing there, because, goodness me, it's been extremely useful. Can I smite this? Can I stun this? We're getting very stressed out. Um, which I expected to happen. I did mention that these things were here. But it turns out it's been a lot more difficult to hit these things than I was anticipating. And they're not taking as much damage as I would like them to. I'm glad it didn't dodge it. But I was expecting that to do enough damage to basically kill it. Yeah, you feel better for that, that's for sure. Do it. Thank you. It's always this last round where everything falls at once, and I think I'm doing that wrong. It seems to be so often the case that um, that, that happens. Are you in the right order? I think you are accidentally in the right order. <laughs> More by luck than judgement, I might add. Yeah, you don't like being in the back at all, do you? Huh, strange. Okay. You don't tend to get them in the right order on purpose. There is an obstacle, so I'm glad I brought some spades. It's only a short mission. A bit of health is fine. That's the second hunger, though. Even the cold stone I nearly clicked on the, preventing the manual, but don't you... At least use a bandage. Oh, I had a bandage. 
Oh god. No. Pete, why are you so bad at this? You see, this is why I, you should probably start getting rid of those things. Even if it costs you, because now it's going to cost me to get rid of tetanus as well. And as noted, I don't really want to scum the game up and do the uh, dismiss a hero, but especially since that'll be the second time I've dismissed a Pete. But I think I might have to, because you suck so much. You deal with it. Thank you for not triggering the 10% chance of fucking it up. No! Stop taking everything! I'm not bringing you along again. Yeah, yeah fuck you. It's karma for you, biatch. I'm not even touching that. We know what happened last time. Pete got Dachnomania. And then Tetanus as a result of that. He got Dachnomania from a pile of books, and then Tetanus from the Dachnomania. In the same mission. Right. Right, said Fred. Save a little dance for Charlie. Five to ten. Four to eight. Five to ten. Five to ten. You two have got high dodge. You're unholy, you're human. Yes, that's what we like to see. Back of the net. He shoots, he scores. Raikuda from left field. Right. Hounds rush. No. We will reduce protection on this. Try to. Thank you. Then next round, we've got a mark to attack. We will heal you. A crit for six. It's nowhere near the crit for 32 we had in the last round. Last, uh, last episode. I have to be honest. We will stun. They're all 25% and this is bleedy. So we'll try and stun this. It resisted. And then it's going to have a go. Against the wrong unit. There's a bleed. But we do have bandages. Don't forget about the bandages. You dodge the stress which is really valuable. This is the last fight. This is the end of the mission though. So we should be okay. We did bring a key for that. Miri will beat the shit out of that. Thank you. This is going well. A lot better than previous. We dodged two of those, which is even even better than I anticipated the first time. I think we just uh, keep the heals up, really. Not a single bleed has come from one of these yet. Please do a lot of damage. That was almost exactly the right amount of damage. And we slew the men who were wicked. Uh, I was pointing at the... <laughs> that's where the steam overlay is. But you probably can't see that. I don't know, actually. We should check the video. Uh, again, you can't hit anything further away than that. Which is a shame. Hmm. Right, is there any point stress healing anybody? Was that a valuable thing to do at all? Maybe not. Maybe I should have protected that unit. Oh, screw it. Pete's going in for... Um... No dodging. Pete's going in for recovery anyway, so. Just kill this thing in this round, and I'll be happy. Thank you. That is such a good move so far. I'm extremely pleased with that move. Uh, let's have a look at the map. We won't we use this anyway. There's a battle into curios, so I'm just going to... Um, this in here. I was hoping to get more unlockable things, so we did really waste a bit of money on the keys there. But we got a decent amount of stuff. We didn't get the opportunity to use a lot of the things because certain people kept fucking using things anyway without permission. But we're just going to go back to the hamlet. That was a good mission. Decent episode. Dude, let me. Whatever. Irrepressible virtue chance. That's pretty good. Uh, meditator. Improves stress reduction while meditating and while camping. That's that's very nice. Stun resist. Well, at least you got something valuable out of being smacked on the head so many times in that. Actually, it was uh, Bagel that was smacked on the head so many times in the last episode. I remember. That should be okay because we tend to keep people's HP topped up anyway. We were used to that from Snowland when Snowland had the Our trinket. Bagel megatated mega and, and recovered 56 stress. Which is most of it. That's a really good amount. Broke. Now Krita Beta is an apprentice to cultist, so we have to keep him around. Well. That sucks. I'm going to have to spend so much money on you, it's unbelievable. But I'm going to have to stick to my print. 
wait. You know what? You can keep tetanus. <laughs> uh, severe fear of enclosed spaces, prone to stealing items, and obsessed with killing. All these suck, and they cost a lot of money. Hmm. I'd like to get this all the way up to the top, but okay. Disease treatment by 13%, and you can have more slots. Um, I think I just sort of don't don't take Pete <laughs> too often. Oh, of course, you're in the expensive one. Uh, you're in the cheap one. So I'm gonna have to send you to a cheap one. Uh, I think that'll be it. Everyone else is at a level of stress I'm okay with, especially if we take them into a slightly less stressful situation. I mean, all the places have stress, but that one seemed to be outrageous in terms of it. What missions have we got now? There's a boss mission. Kill the Necromancer Apprentice. Necromancer. It's a level 1 mission, so I expect we'll find that um, our level 3s don't want to do it. Yeah, they won't do it. So we're going to have to take a, a party to the ruins to do a level 1 mission that does not involve our most powerful allies here. But I think this was a pretty good party, all in all. We can't take Viz because of the uh, the Crusader here, but we could take a different tank. For example, Holmesy. Where are you? There. You're at level 2, which means you're level away from the rest of the level 2s, but well, that's okay. Again, it doesn't really matter what the what levels people are, as long as there's enough in each level bracket, which is basically one either side. So level 2 is a good level to be at the moment, because you can go in either um, either a level 1 or a level 3 uh, mission. And then we can probably take Viz like, here, if we wanted to. Yeah, that's a good position. See, this seems like a good setup. If we upgrade some of these people as well. We can go back into the ruins and finally get the first ruins boss sorted out. Now we may have to run away because I don't really remember what this looks like. There's also a cove boss to do, deal with, which is probably also extremely awful. Uh, but it's a medium mission, so that's going to be a long episode. And I do hope you will join me for it. Uh, if you liked today's episode, I would appreciate it. If you would uh, drop me a like, leave me a comment, share it on your favourite social media platform. And do, of course, remember to subscribe and tell everybody else to subscribe because you are featured in an amazing whirlwind of an adventure with such uh, an erudite uh, uh, <laughs> commentator uh, who is forgot England speak leave go bed good day